Hello guys, I'm very excited to announce that uh, I just made a major update in the dashboard wireframe UI kit and in this video I'm going to show it uh, all to you. So the dashboard wireframe uh, UX kit, it's uh, divided into uh, five uh, pages. The first one is the wireframes in which you can see a collection of uh, a lot of uh, dashboards and uh, model windows and uh, elements that uh, you can use. The second one is the components in which uh, you're going to see uh, all of the components which are all organized into resizable symbols. So you can just uh, click on one and um, you can modify it uh, directly. So that this brings us to the third one, which is the templates. And uh, the templates uh, are basically two um, templates which uh, you can use uh, to create uh, flows and um, in which you can uh, show clients uh, your whole project. So this brings us to the fourth one, which is the textiles and uh, the icons. So the textiles, it's a, a really cool feature which uh, I used. So basically all of the uh, screens into the wireframes and components are using these textiles. So if I actually go ahead and uh, select the textiles, uh, you will see that uh, they are all synced with uh, these, uh, these styles over here. And uh, if, for example, I change the color of the textiles or I change the fonts, and uh, I click on the refresh button, uh, it will take a, a moment, but basically what it's going to do, it's going to update uh, all of the text uh, in uh, all of the screens uh, in uh, the UX kit, which is uh, a very quick way to make uh, big uh, um, adjustments and uh, updates uh, throughout the whole kit. So now let's undo this and uh, what I'm going to show is uh, the right part, which are the icons. So for the most part, I use the Google Material icons for this kit. However, you're also going to see some font awesome uh, icons, but I would highly recommend you to use uh, Google Material icons. And um, you already have a lot of them over here. And uh, the last page uh, is the symbols. And these are all the symbols which uh, are, um, by the way, resizable and uh, adjustable. And um, yeah, this is uh, the overview. Now, one note that uh, I'd like to make uh, is uh, regarding the component section. So it's divided into uh, different uh, um, components groups. So for example, here we're having the headers, here we're having a bunch of side menus, uh, UX elements such as arrows and you know images and uh, filler contents and um, here you're going to see that on the right uh, you have uh, a lot uh, of uh, components which uh, are divided by uh, their categories so for example we're having the gallery items the features components blog and textual and so on and uh, all these components are uh, symbols which you can uh, adjust uh, and uh, literally drag and drop into your projects and um, you can uh, adjust them according to your needs uh, and uh, resize them according to your uh, uh, project uh, needs. So this is uh, uh, something that uh, it makes this kit uh, very flexible and uh, you can literally uh, create projects in uh, a very short amount of time. And uh, this is going to be the main uh, document that you're going to use uh, if you really enjoy working with symbols. However, I know that some people don't enjoy working with symbols or maybe there are some entry level uh, people with Sketch uh, who would just like to have the uh, components grouped all together in a very well way, but they don't like the symbols. So that's uh, where the wireframes uh, um, come in because um, the wireframes are without symbols. Um, however, if you wish, you can simply um, add the symbols over here and um, you, you can just convert an item into symbols. But most uh, of the components uh, that you're going to see in the wireframes are in the components page. 
So you would basically use the components page for the most part. And um, yeah, th but these, uh, these wireframes can really help you um, get inspiration for, for projects. And you can literally drag and drop all of these elements and create your own screens uh, within uh, minutes. And uh, this is very helpful. This is actually the kit that uh, I'm using for uh, my client's project. And uh, let me tell you that I'm saving like so much time with uh, these assets that uh, it's really, it's just a, a, a great ROI for my time. And uh, you pretty much have uh, all the UX elements which uh, you'll ever need to kickstart your project in uh, your best way, uh, cleanly organized and uh, with uh, resizable symbols. So yeah, this is it for this video. If you have any questions, you can uh, reach me at my website, pierluigigiglio.com or uh, at my email, which is giglioperluigi at gmail.com. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.